to down to a 0.05. Um, and additional measures to install life-saving traffic calming devices around our streets, especially near the schools. And those not only include traffic control devices, but also deterrence against speeding and in running through red lights. This is something that we need and something that we need more of. In the state legislature, with my partners like Senator Andrew Bernardis and many others, we advocate for more of these devices, not to punish and fine people, but to understand, to help people realize that it is very important to observe speed limits and to observe traffic signals. It's as simple as that. You don't speed, you won't get a speeding a speed ticket. You don't run a red light, you won't get a red light ticket. It's as simple as that, follow the law. And uh, why are we doing that? It's to protect the public. It's to protect our young children. And ultimately, it helps the drivers themselves. I'm a driver, I drive a car. Although I will say I like a lot more than I drive. But still, it is something that we have to be mindful of constantly. We have, for a hundred years, been in a car-centric culture. And these last, this last decade or so, I think, has seen the city of New York um, realize that there's a lot more to transportation than cars and uh, engine-driven devices. That there are many, many alternative modes of transportation. So uh, we want to make sure that our laws now match the thinking, and the thinking in the public also matches the law. So uh, I thank you very much for convening this panel. I'm not leaving right away, but I do have to get to another meeting at, at 3 o'clock. But thank you very much for joining us and look forward to the, the discussion. Thanks very much.